day is going well I'm getting ready to head out for a run I'm a little nervous I haven't ran in about a week and a half actually and um, I kind of like fell off a little bit I feel like so I'm gonna get out and do the best that I can today I also did a weigh-in this morning on my Instagram stories that's where I usually do my weigh-ins at it's like once a week on there um, but about two weeks ago I weighed 166 I just got back on the scale today and I'm still 166. So that's a good thing for me that I haven't gained, but at the same time, I didn't lose anything. But I know why, like I, I haven't been keeping up with the routine of, you know, getting up in the morning and exercising. With everything that's going on, I kind of just use that as an opportunity to give myself a break almost. But I'm like, you know what? It's time to get back on and let's do it. I still got a goal to reach by the end of this year before my birthday. So I'm gonna head out and do my run and um, I will see you guys in a little while. I thought Freddie was gonna come with me this morning, but he's still upstairs asleep, y'all. Tell Freddie, get up. Oh my goodness, I haven't ran in so long. I'm like so sweaty. I look a hot mess. Um, I pulled up my time to see what I did today because I really felt like I didn't do so well because I literally took like three breaks. Like I had paused the workout and everything to catch my breath. I was like, I remember like a couple of weeks ago when I did it, I was able to like run the whole thing straight. And I think I only took maybe one break back then. This time I took at least three breaks, y'all. I was like, oh, I gotta get back into it. But anyway, so here's my stats. I used the 5K Runner app, and I did 30 minutes total, 20 minutes were running, and I did 10 minutes of walking. Um, I didn't hit three miles. I was only at like 2.43 miles, but I burned 266 calories. I'm getting, I think that's okay. The last time I ran was like March 11th. It's March 23rd. I think I did pretty good. Oh my goodness, I needed to get back at it though because I was like legit dying out there. But anyways, I have to uh, take a shower, get myself dressed and ready because I still have to report for duty. So I will be going to work today. Freddie will be here with the kids and we're just, that's, we're just alternating. That's just how it's gonna be for now. But um, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Uh, work isn't gonna be too crazy for me today. Um, to keep up with like the regulations of like you know keeping the amount of people in the office to a minimum we're only doing like half a days so I only have to go in for like half my shift at work and then the other half of my shift is supposed to be at home so we'll see how that works out today I'm gonna get me something to drink and USA um, that's pretty much it everybody in the house is still asleep so um, they'll probably catch up with you guys later today but um, Anyways, I feel like I'm rambling. Talk to you later. Hey guys, so it is later in the afternoon. Um, after my workout, I went to work for a couple of hours. Um, the way our schedule is set up, I'm not really able to work 100% from home. And I don't think we'll ever be able to work 100% from home, honestly, with the type of job that I have. But for now, um, they have us coming in for half our shift. Um, either a.m. or the other half of the shift p.m. and then we're home for the other half 
Let me try that again. <laughs> we only have to go into work for half our shift. The other half is spent at home. And we're alternating between a.m. and p.m. or morning and afternoon. So I went in today for the morning shift after my run and then the remaining part of my shift was spent at home. During my lunch break, when I got off work, I stopped by Aldi's to go pick up some supplies. I was telling you guys um, in the previous videos that we only stocked up for two weeks because I didn't know how or what to prepare for, so I didn't want to go overboard. So um, it's been a week since my last run to the grocery store, and we were starting to get low, and I was hearing rumors that you know grocery stores were running out of stuff. So I was like, you know what, let me go and get some stuff. Hi, Skylar. She's hiding from you guys. What do you have on, child? Oh, is this what happens when daddy is home and mommy's at work? These kids just put on whatever. That jacket is too small, Skylar. Get out of that jacket, girl. Anyways, let me look for my receipt because I wanted to kind of show you guys what all I got from Aldi's. They had a lot more than I thought they were gonna have, but they were limited in certain things. Um, the meats were very limited. The stores were, well I shouldn't say stores, I only went to one, I didn't go everywhere. I am gonna go back out to Publix. They sent out a notification um, stating that they're back stocked. So, it's like I might go out there to go get some stuff, but Aldi's had like a good amount of things. They were limited on meat. Um, they barely had any chicken. Um, there was ground beef, but I'm not really a big fan of beef, so I wasn't really interested in that. I was really looking for like chicken. Um, ground turkey, <laughs> they were stocked on ground turkey. They had a bunch of these turkeys, ground turkeys, the frozen ground turkeys. It looks like they took this out of their deep, deep freezer, but they had a lot of frozen uh, ground turkey, no frozen ground beef though. Um, and they also had packaged meats like, like these. So I picked up some of those for chicken because I'm pretty much stocked on like this. So I didn't want to get a lot of this ground beef, I mean ground turkey because I already have some. But I just picked up a couple. I'm like, you know, when I'm out, I'll just get a couple just to add so that we never run completely out because there's no saying when the stores are going to get stocked back up. But I also don't want to go and just buy a bunch of stuff just because and then become wasteful and also there's people that don't like that haven't gotten a chance to go out to get stuff either so i'm not getting stuff that i don't need but anyways here's my receipt i'm gonna tell you guys real quick what we did and then we'll go through i got all this stuff here for under a hundred dollars i spent about 98 dollars and 99 cents at aldi's you guys know my groceries bill now is about 50 dollars a week so what I did was I went ahead and doubled it and I spent about about $100, but I got more than two weeks worth of meals. With the type of food that I bought, I believe I have at least, or if not close to, three to four weeks worth of meals that I can make in addition to the food that we already have. So I'm gonna run through it really quick, show you guys what I got and why I got it. And if you're out looking for ideas or things to buy to help make your meals last, hopefully this will help you guys. All right, so we'll start over here. I got a couple of things of French toast sticks. Um, these are all these are usually about a dollar to two dollars in range. My favorite is the cinnamon one, but they didn't have it, so I just got these. And it comes with a good amount in there. I decided to stock up on vegetables. I have some frozen vegetables in my freezer, but I figured if we're gonna be running out of meat and turn it into vegans, we need to buy some vegetables. So I got some of these uh, broccoli stir fry mixes. I really like these. I got a couple of those. These were like, I believe 89 cents at Aldi's, and these were 79 cents at Aldi's to mix the vegetables. I usually um, steam these in the microwave and then mix them in with the rice so that the, it's like a rice and veggie mix, so the kids will usually eat it because it's hard to spoon everything out when I do it that way. And it, I mean, if you eat it with the rice, it, it, it tastes good. You don't have to worry about it. I got some of these turkey polskas. These were not on limit. You could have got as many of these as you wanted. I decided just to get two because I know how I'm going to use these. And I really don't need more than that. Um, I usually take these and either use them as a breakfast. But since I'm trying to stretch my meals, I'm going to use this to go with my potatoes and onions. And chop up some potatoes and onions and stick them in the oven with my turkey kielbasa and make like a turkey sausage pepper thingy in there. I don't know, it tastes good and it lasts. Um, I got some french fries to add to a couple of meals um, and lunches. Some chicken patties. 
These actually, I remember back in the day when I first started doing like meals on YouTube, um, I used to use chicken patties like this to make my chicken parmesan. So I may do that to kind of, you know, mix it up from having to have turkey all the time. Maybe do some chicken parmesan with these chicken patties because they didn't have a lot of chicken. But I was able to find some chicken and I'll show you how much I paid for it too. Got some fish sticks. This is for the kids for lunch. Some pizzas. This will also be for the kids for lunch. I only got a couple of these. Uh, some lunch meat. I have some in the fridge already and I'm just adding this to it. Some strawberries. This is just some fresh fruit for now. Some bananas. Um, some more sausage. This is the Italian mild sausage. I'm also going to be using this to make my um, potato and sausage uh, skillets. I can also uh, add some of this in with the steamed veggies and make like a sausage veggie skillet. Um, that's another meal you can do with those. And then here's the chicken. I was able to find some chicken and I paid $7 for this. Um, I wanna say this is about, it's $4.29 per pound. So. I got almost about two pounds. I got three full slices of chicken breast and I'm going to most likely chop this up and make it into like a chicken stir fry um, so I can stretch out the meals. I got some corn. Corn at Aldi's is really inexpensive and it's really good too. It, it takes about four minutes to make. So I got some corn. I usually chop them in halves to make more. So instead of four, this is really eight and then cut that up 16. My potatoes, potatoes and onions are really inexpensive at Aldi's as well. You can mix this, you can make um, like put some eggs in there and make like a scrambled egg with potatoes and onions, throw some sausages in there, you know, maybe cut up some peppers and add that in there and you can make like a big dish with that. I was trying to find meals that I can make with a limited amount of meat and also meals that I can make without meat at all in the event that we have no meat. Um, of course, I picked up some more ramen noodles. These are the Marashu, Marashan. These are the Aldi versions of the ramen noodles. But this is the cup one, though. So always, always, always have this on stock. If in doubt, you can have that. Some flour tortillas. You guys know I use these to make my turkey tacos, but I also use them to make breakfast wraps. So another reason that I like these tortillas for breakfast wraps is that it limits the amount of eggs that you have to use. You only put a little bit of eggs in here, a little bit of cheese, and a little bit of whatever meat if you have it, or some onions, potatoes, and roll it up and you can make your eggs last a little bit longer. They did have a limit on spaghetti sauce. Um, so I wasn't able to stock up on that. I really needed to because I only have one can of spaghetti sauce left y'all So I got these two because that's all they had a limit of two I may go back out later and get another two or something like that some kidney beans because I'm going to be making some turkey chili This week. That's another meal. That's going to stretch and last forever. I got some minced garlic um I kind of ran out of garlic seasoning, like the garlic powder, so I got this minced garlic because I really like this when I am making um, those stir fries and stuff like that, or um, with the meats and stuff, you can add it in. I picked up some turkey chili seasoning packets from Aldi's. I've never had this. I'm hoping it tastes good because this is all I got. Some chewy granola bars, really cheap, good for breakfast, snack. You know, I don't mind the kids snacking on these because it's not too bad. It doesn't have too, too much sugar in it. So I, I like these for the kids. These are, I believe, like $1.89 at Aldi's. Now, this is something we tried out for the first time last week, these Honeygram cereals. They actually taste really good for them to be like non-name brand cereal. They taste very comparable to the actual like Honeygram cereal. So I got two boxes of these because Skylar liked them and so did I. Plus, I have a feeling that this mixed with some bananas is going to be good i don't i don't really drink regular milk and um so i don't really drink i don't really have milk with my cereal fun fact i i don't like milk with my cereal i eat my cereal dry i was like so i'm thinking about mixing some of those honey grams with some chopped up bananas and having that for breakfast with maybe some strawberries and i think that's going to be really good i don't know it could be gross but it sounds the way those honey grams taste with the bananas i think is going to be good i might even drizzle like some honey on it Skylar wants to say hello. Cereal. Oh, you want cereal? Okay, let mama finish doing this, and then we're going to put the food away, and then I'll give you some cereal. But I thought you wanted strawberries. Cereal. Okay. They have Honey Nut Cheerios at Aldi's. These, um, these are about $4. Uh, I don't really know. I don't always get Honey Nut Cheerios from Aldi's. Now that I know the kids like these, th this may go away. 
Got some oatmeal cream pies, cause you know we like snacks. So I got some, some, some more snacks for us. Some milk, some uh, Hawaiian punch. There was a limit on milk. All these had no eggs, so there were no eggs to get there. I'm gonna run out to Publix later to see if I can find eggs at Publix. Oatmeal cookies. These are the bomb.com, you guys. I got four of them. They were one for 89 cents. So if you guys need some cheap snacks and your cookie monsters, get you some of these oatmeal cookies. Um, two loaves of bread. Bread was limited to two. I have no bread love. All the bread that I bought to last my two weeks was gone in the first week. So I was just like, we are definitely going to need to get more bread. Um, because the kids have been making sandwiches for lunch, Nutella sandwiches for snack, and the bread is just going really quickly. So we're going to really need more bread. Especially with the kids home from school now. I just, like, literally everything that I thought would last does not last as long as I thought. I went shopping for two weeks last time, and that stuff lasted like a week. And I still have a little bit left, but like stuff like bread, eggs, stop Skylar, stuff like bread, eggs, and the snacks and stuff, that stuff went like fast. So I got some hot dog buns, cause I'm thinking about maybe with the turkey chili, using some of it to make turkey hot dogs. So we can have turkey chili, I mean not turkey chili, but turkey dog, uh, chili dogs, Jesus, chili dogs with that. So this is my complete list of things that I got from all of these and um, yeah. Definitely uh, check out some of the videos here on YouTube for uh, meal planning because there's some really good inexpensive ideas on here of how to stretch your meals. That's where a good majority of my ideas came from when it came to stretching out the meals because I'm not trying to go broke buying food. I'm like, my budget was $50. <laughs> I'm like, I, don't, I, don't really, I really don't go over that if I don't have to. I was just like, so... Um, I did I did go over it for this time, but this is not a one week's worth of supply I'm hoping with this in addition to the few items that I have left over from my previous grocery haul That I will be able to make this last for a month All these did not have water I almost forgot to say that they had no water. Well, actually I take it back. They had no spring water They had cases and cases of purified water I don't know why those people didn't want purified water, but I know why I didn't want the purified water because it tastes funny, in my opinion. I'm like, so I'm gonna go to Publix and look for eggs, water, and also tomato sauce, <laughs> uh, spaghetti sauce. And I'm also going to go there for a couple more loaves of bread because two loaves of bread in my house only last one week. Now, it used to not, but now it only lasts one week, so. I'm gonna have to get a little bit more. All right, so I finished putting all the food away. I got little Freddy dumping my boxes. Hello. Hello. You wanna help Freddy dump boxes? Huh? You wanna help Freddy dump boxes? You gonna take him to the garage? Oh, you tied your baby jacket around your waist? Okay. Now I help Okay. Thank you. So, um,. All the groceries are put away and I have everything organized in here. So far this organizational method with the bins has been working for me. I don't have anything in any particular order in my bins. I just feel like when you have things in bins, it just looks more organized. I don't put any writing or anything out here because to be honest with you, when my family's putting away stuff, they don't ever put it back in the ones that I want them in. But I will say these two have predominantly been for snacks. That's been like an everything. <laughs> Down here is usually for bulk items. And then these are like random cans and soup goods and stuff like that. But there's no particular pattern. We just put them in there. But it, to me, it looked cleaner like that, so. If it worked, it worked. Oh, you got all them in there? Okay, go help Freddie dump them in the big one, in the back, in the blue, in the blue bin. Yeah. All right, so I um, am going to First of all, get out of these work clothes and go relax. Maybe take a shower or something like that because it was hot outside, y'all. But um, like I said, I was just getting home from work not too long ago. Went to the grocery store, picked up some groceries, did the grocery haul for you guys. And now I'm ready to just like wind down a little bit. Um, it's still early in the day, so I still have time to do a lot more stuff with the kids. So I'm going to relax for a little bit. Uh, chill with the kids for a while see how their day went today and then we'll probably uh, go out get out of the house for a little bit do something with them maybe bike riding something something so they can get out of the house um, when the sun goes down because it's like 89 degrees outside 
You got muscles from taking out the board and the um the boxes. Oh my gosh, Scott, you got big muscles. Ooh, flex. Flex it when you flex. Get flexy when you flex. Get flexy while you flex. All right, or maybe we'll do some go noodle. We won't know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We will see you next time. Like the stage experience. So enjoy. Stop. Y'all messed it up. Y'all messed it all the way up. Stop. How we it? How it's life. It's a day-to-day -day experience. So enjoy. And one and two and three. That's what we said. No, you didn't. Say goodbye. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Say goodbye. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Thumbs up if you like this video. And always be happy. What are y'all doing? Boom. Boom. Boom.